how to prep beef. Quickest way to prep your meat, cheapest way to do it, most efficient way. Based on all my experience, the best way is a grill, okay? If you don't have a grill or access to a big grill, George Foreman is gonna be your best bet. So here's the beef I'm using. I got this at Target. Any of your groceries are gonna have very similar types of beef. Normally, I'm doing the 80% lean to save money. Right now, summertime, we're doing the 93% lean. It's a little pricier, but it's worth it to go for that extra lean amount of beef. So what I do is I grab it, I ball it up into little hamburger portions. Don't forget to spray your grill. I've already pre-done that. It doesn't really matter what it is as long as it's non-stick, the vegetable oil is fine. But you're gonna wanna spray this thing down. The beef is very sticky. It has a tendency to stick to the grill. And that's one thing you don't want. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it on. I'm smashing them down into little balls here so that they cook efficiently. The faster the better. As this is cooking, this isn't one of those things like chicken where you can just let it be and go away for a little while if you're baking it. You wanna just let it do its thing and occasionally check on it so you know when you have to flip it. You wanna make sure you're cooking it through evenly. If you don't flip and move it around while it's cooking, you will not get even consistency. You'll have a side that's not even cooked right you have another side that's burnt. Don't forget, while it's going, spray it down. Once they start getting cooked and they look like they're starting to brown or black up on the top, best to go ahead and chop them down the middle because that'll help it cook evenly. And you'll see for the meal prep why this is gonna be advantageous. So here we are, the final product. We've got all of our beef down into these little nice, Easy to eat in chunks. So that's how you cook beef. We did two pretty big packs of hamburger meat. Depending on what your diet, macros, and your protein intake is at, should always get you set for at least three days. Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing, thanks for all the comments. Let me know how you cook your beef. Be sure to like the page, subscribe so you don't miss anything. So the beef's ready to go. If you're curious about how I do the portion control and how the most efficient way to weigh your food is and get it set into the containers for your week, the next video coming up is on exactly how to weigh your portions out. So thanks again for following. I'm Ryan Ingle, founder of RE Fitness.